Rejuvenous. Yeah, what's up, people? Yeah, keep watching Juvenis TV. You can subscribe on YouTube, okay? And keep it locked here on this channel. My name is a four You can call me a four. -fem. Twitter may have its own rules, it's not a universal rule. If Mr. President, anywhere in the world, feels very bad and concerned of a situation, he is free to express such views. Now, we should stop comparing apples with oranges. If an organization is proscribed, it is different from any other organization which is not proscribed. Two, any organization that gives directives to its members to attack police stations, to kill policemen, to attack correctional centers, to kill warders. Are you not saying that Mr. President does not have the right to express is dismay and anger about that? We are, we are the one guilty of double standards. I don't see anywhere in the world where an organization, a person will stay in somewhere outside Nigeria and will direct its members to attack the symbols of authority, the police, the military. especially when that organization has been proscribed. By whatever name, you can't justify giving orders to kill policemen or to kill anybody you do not agree with. Thank you very much. Peter. Yes. The mission of Twitter in Nigeria it's very, very suspect. As, to, as Twitter deleted the violent tweets that Inamidikani has been sending, has, he, has it? The same Twitter, during the NSAS program, that was funding NSAS protesters, was the first to Withdraw to, to close the account of a uh, former president of uh, US, Trump. And you see, when people were burning police stations and killing policemen in Nigeria, there were answers. For Twitter, it was about the right to protest. But when a similar thing happened, on the capital, it became insurrection. You see, we are not going to be, we are not going to be uh, 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 fooled by anybody. We have a country to rule, and we'll do so to the best of our ability. Twitter's mission in Nigeria, giving, citing those two examples is very suspect. What is the agenda? Thank you very much. Sorry. President's speech, that anybody who is destroying infrastructure, who is destroying police service, INEC, that he would, should be ready for the consequences. Is that inciting violence? I'm going to ask my question. Sir? Ma? Okay. So my question is that, my question is that, since we are on inciting speeches, how come Bumida has also been speaking along the same lines? How come he hasn't been picture? Because I know that one or two things Nigerians have been, you know, this, uh, have been this effort, no, sorry, um, have been this run to how Bumida has been reacting to how Bumida has been I mean, he's been justified as his actions. You see, I think this is why I, that's why I think you are again mixing things. 
if an organization is proscribed, ab initio, that organization does not exist in that country. There are many Nigerians, for instance, who have been inciting, who have been inciting people against government. Many. This is Kumi, who is supposed to be a middle man to go around, and the government. Who, who appointed Gumi? So that's, that's not the question. No, no, listen, 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 you see, for me, unless you come and tell me this is what Gumi said, it's inciting, and you are comparing him to Kanu. And anyway, what we are discussing was different. We are talking, discussing Twitter. But if you want to ask a question about Gumi or any other person, go ahead, and, 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 but please be objective. There are so many people who are not even gumi who have been spewing hate against Mr. President, against this government. So if you want to comment, be fair. Don't take a position as if, don't, don't take a, a position which is not objective. If we were to pick up everybody today, who had been in abusing this administration, the, 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 detentions, the detention centers will be, will, will be filled up. And you'll be the first persons also to talk about lack of tolerance, lack of rule of law. But I'm saying that you cannot compare anybody with Kanu who boldly says, go and kill policemen. Well, I think sometimes where you behave, some of these policemen are our brothers, they are our uncles, they are our children. We kill them, their wives become, you know, widows, their children become orphans. And what is the offense of this of policemen? Because they are, work, they are working to keep the country one. What is the offense of the soldiers? They are putting that their lives every day so that me and you can sleep. It's not acceptable anywhere in the world for anybody, anywhere to stay in the comfort of the UK or wherever and now give directives that go and kill soldiers, go and kill policemen. Thank you. Commenting on our videos, please keep commenting. If you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so for regular updates. Okay. Keep watching Juvenis and keep buying Juvenis. Juvenis is published bi-monthly by Peanuts Communications Limited. For inquiries, event coverage or advert placement, call 0803-360-8271-0805-787-1199-0702-811-3638 or 0808-152-4499 or visit www.juvenis.punux.net Juvenis Magazine Inspiring the young at heart